But who really has the, the children's best interest in mind? Here now to weigh in is Michael McShane. He's the director of education policy at the Show Me Institute. Michael, welcome to the show. So a lot of back and forth. Let me read the New York Times and what the New York Times had to say about, uh, about Betsy. Trump's education pick has steered money from public schools. And, of course, the media already jumping on this choice. What do you make of that? Well, look, she has been a fervent school choice advocate for almost three decades now, and she's been relatively ecumenical in it. She supports charter schools, private school choice, virtual schooling, homeschooling. So I don't think it's necessarily inaccurate to say that she's been a big supporter of school choice. Yeah. Well, you have now the teachers unions, uh, a lot of them up in arms over this peak, uh, over this pick. But she's talked about uh, student vouchers and other things that could be appealing. Should they at least? Take a listen to what she has to say. Maybe things that she can do, they'd be happy about. Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, there's a lot of promising research from charter schools, from school vouchers and others that show they, they have a positive impact on children's lives. So I, I, I understand that there's a sort of reflexive opposition to it that many people have. But if you really dig into the research, uh, there's lots of reasons to be optimistic about them. Where do you think she is on Common Core? There seems to be confusion about this because Donald Trump spoke in the campaign. We've got to rip out Common Core. This is wrong. And Democrats sure. are saying that, that's, you know, overblown. It's not a big deal. It's being exaggerated. Uh, meanwhile, Betsy DeVos seems to have a different posi position than Donald Trump and has said we should keep Common Core. What's the real deal? Well, on her website recently, she did a sort of Q&A where she said she is opposed to the Common Core. Now, in the past couple of years, she was on the board of a couple of organizations that had been pro-Common Core. So, but it seems like uh, if she was supportive of it in the past, she recognized the error of her ways and, and, and is opposing it now. Now, I don't know if that's going to satisfy a lot of the most vociferous Common Core opponents, but she has come out and said that she doesn't support the Common Core. Where does she come down on, I mean, on public schools? The, the criticism, of course, that she's out of touch. You know, she's been a, a, a product of private school her whole life. Her kids are in private school. How can she really relate to the public school system? Well, look, I mean, I think one of the issues that's facing families today is that too many families, particularly low-income families, don't have good options of schools to send their kids to. So, look, someone who's been advocating to say, we want to give them more options, maybe that's a charter school or it may be a private school, and want to support them as they do that, to me, that seems really in touch with, with what's happening in families' lives. Yeah. Well, and she has her past and things that she's talked about publicly with education, but ultimately it comes down to what Mr. Trump wants to do with with education. That's what was reported yesterday. She will serve as a secretary, but it's going to come from the very top. So what do we know about what he said about education? So I think that's important. I I think it remains to be seen exactly his vision of what the federal government has to, what role it can play in all this. Look, I'm as big of a school choice supporter as you're probably going to find, but I don't necessarily want the federal government at the helm of this. If we've learned anything in the last 10 or 15 years of education reform, it's a reform's got to come from the bottom up. It can't come from the top down. So it's important that they articulate the proper role for the federal government in all of this. It's an important role, but it's a limited one. Mm. Right. And, and to that point, Michael Machine, um, McShane, Shane, we appreciate you being here. There are some folks, uh, conservatives in particular, saying that the best thing Donald Trump can do uh, is have a Secretary DeVos spend her time focused on shutting the Department of Education down uh, and hand these powers back to the states. We'll see whether or not she gets confirmed and whether she does that. Thank you, Michael McShane. We appreciate you being here. Thanks, Michael. Hey, thanks. Thanks oh, for having me. Yeah. Go Thanks, ahead. Michael. All right, well, forget standing in line. Just go online, Kurt the Cyber Guy, mm -hmm. narrowing down the best deals on the Internet for Cyber Monday. That's coming up. <laughs> there he is.